that you yourself have experienced or have seen or have felt. Don't take somebody else's idea. You can write fiction, you can make up stories, use your imagination, or you can write fact. Be precise. That means be specific. You could say, I ate food. You could say, I ate. You could say, I ate Thai food. Or you could say, I ate Thai pan. And if they all, everybody will know you've eaten. All of those sentences will tell people you've eaten. But if you're specific, you will give them more information. You use the same number of words, but you give more information. And make sure you put your name and the date. Because you will keep this, and next year when you read it, you, want, you will know when you wrote it. Okay? You, were you, did, does everybody have one of these? Who was not here two days ago? I know you weren't, Sue. You were not. The, new, the newcomers were not. Yeah. So I'm going to give these to you. I just call them rules for writing your stories. Good morning. Good morning. Who, did you get your copy? See. You gave, I see. We have it. All right. See, did All you right. get? The new? Yeah. 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 See that one? Oh, uh, see, not, not uh, yet. Uh, uh, yes, sir, that's it. Uh, Thank you very much. Now what I did, <laughs> I wrote, oh good, thank you. Anybody, any more homework? Okay. We're working with the past tense. You know the present tense very well, I can tell when you talk. So we're working with the past tense, and we've been working with the past simple. So I, my, I wrote a story to show you you can write, I have many sentences, you don't have to write so many, but you can use the past simple and tell a story. So this is my story. The person who taught me how to write my name. I was born in 1938. Don't, don't, don't write anything down. Do not write. Please, again. Just listen. And this is my story, and I want you to write your story. This is a sample. Do not copy this. <laughs> this is just an example to give you an idea. Okay? I'm writing in the past simple. The title is The Person Who Taught Me How to Write My Name. I was born in 1938. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. My father had a law partner. My father had a law partner. His name was Bill Isaac. In the summer of 1943, Bill Isaac visited my home. I was coloring in my coloring book in the living room. Bill walked into the room and picked up my red crayon. He wrote my name in the margin of my coloring book. He said my name out loud while he pointed to the letters. I knew my ABCs. This was the first time I understood that ABCs had meaning. I was thrilled. I knew the secrets of ABCs. After that quiet day in Cincinnati, I understood the power of the written word. I never forgot Bill Isaac. See? Simple sentences, 
past. I'm telling you about my life, something I know about, and something that was important to me. So I want you to think about you, to come up with some ideas, take one and pass it on. How old were you? That, that time that In 43, did I say? Not how old are you? How old am I now? Uh, I was no, no, no. At, at when you was, was? I was about five. Five. Five or six. All right, so this is just to show you. And every sentence has a subject. I, Right, Are you ready? Okay. Now we will hear right. from Pra, so, uh, so and he will so read to us what he meant to read earlier, mm -hmm. his essay on My Fair Lady. Here we go. Okay, thank you. And let me show, let me say good morning to all of your students here. Okay, my name is Hansel Pais. I am just a man here, just a good morning ago. Okay, I thought, you know, I write, I wrote about my end of story, my fear lady. Okay, I wrote that. Okay, Hacking was thought about Elisa. He couldn't sleep, work, and upset all the time. He thought himself that Elisa was his part of happiness. Elisa understood him very well, but she wanted to know how much does he love her bags? After they understood each other well, they start to prepare families. Around six years, they had one son and one daughter. They were in happiness. Very good. That's my the end story of my fear lady. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. That that was a good resume. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, see, no. Let, let's see. Uh, read her. Oh, please. Her do, you, do you have your homework with you? Yes. Come in. Uh, 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 teachers, Edward, 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 read my, excuse me. I never read it? Yes. I think maybe I must no, have read Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I, I read, you, you read very well. Yeah. 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 This is Good morning, Good morning, teacher and my friends. Let me read my homework. Uh, after I had seen my fair lady, I thought, I feel, I thought, I thought it was a very joke and romantic picture and I enjoyed it so much. What did I think? What would be happen to Dr. Higgins and Elisa later? I think they may going to get married <laughs> but they must take more time to adjust themselves. They, but, but they must take more time to adjust themselves because they are too puffed up with self-import. Yeah. <laughs> Teacher make some correction again. Uh, I think they may going to get married, but they must take more time to adjust them to adjust to each other. To adjust to each other, because they are too puffed up with self-importance. 
Because they are two. Two. Puff it up. Puff it. Go on, finish your story. We'll puff talk. it up. Puff. Puffed. Puffed up. Puffed. Mm -hmm. Puffed. Good. You, you want to tell them what puffed up means? Yes, please. Two. Good. Good. <laughs> good. Puffed up. up. Yes, very good. What does that mean? When you, when you think you're more important than you really are, you strike and you kind of <laughs> puffed up. 